I have a special relationship with this high bar. Hello guys, it is day two in Melbourne. Um, yesterday I just did a little bit of floor basic lines again. I pretty much had the same schedule as last week. So first off we start with just passes, then the next day routines. So today is routines. This morning I just did a little bit of stretching, a little bit of P bars, a little bit of rings. Just getting the body ready for this afternoon. On day two, I had to do floor routine, and that was actually pretty good. But I did make like a little stumble with my run up for my two and a half double, which was unfortunate and embarrassing. But oh well. And then I um, also just did a two and a half, one and a half again. I don't know why I keep doing that in the routine. It's just I don't really hit it that well. But whenever I do it like separate, it goes really well. Or whenever I just do it behind it, full punch two and a half. But when I do it in my routine, I don't know, it feels like I just sit a little bit too far behind it. And then I just do one and a half out of it instead of actually committing and doing the double. But if I did do the double, then I would probably fall with it. So the one and a half is good in that case. So I just need to get good, basically. Then the day after was a pretty chill day. So no floor. I did a little bit of other things. Uh, I got actually one really good on my cross in but it was zoomed in very far so you don't really see how good it was you can just see that i am pooping my pants because it was so heavy and then i also just did a lot of pommel horse to be honest i don't know what i'm more nervous for my pommel horse skill or floor and to be honest i also don't know which one i would choose if i had to pick one like floor final or pommel horse skill it's so crazy to just have your own skill in the book because I remember back when I was a kid, I, I had like the code of points, I had it in the car and I would just read all through it. So I saw like an element, I would look up the name and like go through that gymnast whole, whole history. And I was like 13 back then. So YouTube didn't really have that many videos. So it was just really like a, a search to find, find that particular gymnast who invented that skill. And then I would always try to find the first competition that he did his own skill. So it, just like having having your name in the code is just a really special thing for me. But the element hasn't been going flawless. I have been missing a few. So that's it's pretty scary. And then it was Wednesday and that was podium training day. Podium training day. But first we'll go train for a little bit and do nothing. Just sit on the floor. Okay, yesterday I watched like a meeting and my coach submitted my element and I actually gave it a C. So, the only thing that I need to do now is just make it. Which is kind of stressful, but uh, it's, it's, it's doable.
best routine of my life. <laughs> ha! I actually made it. Dude, just imagine. Imagine people doing the Verhofstadt. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, now it's time for floor. <laughs> oh yeah! That's gorgeous, bro. Oh, gorgeous. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, I get that, I get that. <laughs> Shout out to Marcus for filming oh, yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Get it. Nice. Well, that is a podium done. Uh, everything went super smooth. Floor felt really good. Lots, lots of fun was had on floor. On podium, I always just look forward to competitions on podium so much because I potentially have three sessions on a podium floor. I think the rest was pretty good too. Let's see if we can Frank, Frank can catch this one. Okay. Come on, Frank. Hit it. Oh, that was just a timer. So yeah. Kind of it. Tomorrow's qualification. So I'll see you there.